Hamptons, and you know what that means, crisp fall air, apple picking, pumpkin picking, and the Hamptons International Film Festival. We're excited this year because it is continuing in the 28th annual Hamptons Film Festival. And here to talk about it is the executive director, Anne Chaison. Anne, tell us what's happening this year. I know it'll be a little bit different. Uh -huh. Uh, it will. It'll. It'll. It'll look a little bit different, but, but honestly, it's it's going to feel the same in terms of what we present to you. Uh, the programming is still enlightening and challenging, and some of the best films you'll see this year, and some of the award hopefuls you'll see next March uh, on the stage at the Oscars. Um, it'll feel different only because you may be in your living. Yet, you will still see introductions from the directors. You'll still, we'll still do Q and A's from almost every single film post uh, with one of us, a programming team member and the director or the subjects of the documentaries or uh, the producers or the writers. So in terms of what film festivals do, which is bring these artists all together uh, to celebrate a film that they've made, uh, we still get to do that which we're extremely grateful for about <clears throat> buying virtual passes and buying car loads for the drive-in. Yeah, so. let's explain how it's gonna work. Obviously it's gonna be virtual. You have some drive-ins where people take their car. And, and, um, but in terms of, of uh, purchasing a ticket and, and, uh, and mm -hmm. making this happen, how does that work? Well, it's also exactly the same. You used to buy tickets online mostly. So you visit our website, hamptonsfilmfest.org. Uh, there's a catalog, a PDF catalog you can download and still look at the entire program. Um, you click on film festival, it Z or by program. You click on the page, you click on the thing you want, you purchase it, you get a confirmation in the email and then whether you're coming as a drive-in participant, you will get, the day before, you will get information about exactly where to go. Virtual cinema, you will also get emails telling you exactly what to do. Um, if it's an individual ticket, you'll get a code. You'll find us as an app uh, on either Apple TV or Roku. You can use your computer or you'll be able to cast it to your television and you put the code in, you find our app with our name on it, Hamptons Film or Hamptons International Film Festival. You click the app, you put the code in, you watch the movie, you listen to the Q&A, and then you can move on to the next one. That's cool. So you can binge watch at home in your pajamas if you want, or you can put some clothes on and, and go to a drive-in, is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> go to the drive. Actually, you can come to the drive-in in your pajamas if you like. We're yeah, not actually. allowed out of the car. So. Let's let's talk about. You always have a great. Please array. bring popcorn. <laughs> you always have a really cool uh, mix of films. Um, you know, whether it's uh, from award-winning um, famous directors uh, and their actors and actresses we we know, uh, um, and also local uh, East End filmmakers. You've got always an interesting mix of, of documentaries. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of the programs. How many films do you have this year? And uh, tell me some of the highlights. Sure. Well, it's a shortened, a shorter program than normal. We have 30 features, 20 short films, um, three conversations with, uh, like we do every year, it's a signature program that we started with um, Steven Spielberg and Martin Scorsese uh, back the very first year. And this year we have Kate Winslet, Steven Yeun, and Leslie Odom Jr. of Hamilton fame, who has a film in the festival that's closing the festival called One Night in Miami, where he plays the melodious Sam Cooke. Um, yeah, he does a beautiful job. Uh, anyhow, so, and we also have panel talks, which uh, cover many of our filmmakers and some of the, um, issues we're facing today in the film world, which are plenty. Um, we've got interviewers and moderators from all spectrum of, uh, of, of journalists. Uh, Don Lemon, as a matter of fact, is doing the Q&A for our opening night film. Cool. 
the amazing, amazing Olympian who in the 1968 Olympics in Mexico raised his, his arm in the air with his fellow medalist, John, Carlo, John Carlos. And um, the two directors, and Tom Smith and Don Lemon and Jesse Williams, the actor is an executive producer on the film, do a really entertaining Q&A after the opening night film. So uh, you can expect a lot of that. Uh, for In fact, uh, Leslie Odom Jr. is being interviewed by Matthew Lopez, who uh, is the writer of The Inheritance from Broadway. One Night in Miami was a play that's adapted to the screen and being directed by Regina King. So those are opening and closing. Um, then there are so many gems throughout this entire program from Sienna Miller in a film called Wander Darkly, uh, Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman in The Father, uh, Francis McDormand in Nomadland. Um, we have so many great documentaries as well, aside from Opening Night with John Arms, um, a beautiful black and white film um, shot on a farm that has no dialogue and follows that will blow you away. As a matter of fact, I'm about to interview the director. I'm so excited to meet him. I can't believe it. I saw it in Berlin. It was the last time I was able to gather in a movie theater and I saw this movie, Gunda, about this amazing sow. And uh, I get to... Um, really, it's a, it's a not-to-be-missed film. Um, also, we are showing Us Kids by the director, Kim Snyder. She did the documentary Newtown about the horrible shooting that took place in Newtown. And this is a follow-up film about the um, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas high schoolers uh, in Parkland, Florida, who went on a crusade for a year, a bus tour doing the youth movement March for Our Lives. And it's extremely inspirational and enlightening as well. Cool. Um, and I'll be interviewing uh, one of the kids, which I'm so excited about as well. Yeah. That's great. Right. And what about a local, any local filmmaker that you, you want, want to talk to about? Oh, yes. Sorry. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Kim Snyder from Us Kids, actually, she's been coming out to the Hamptons probably for 30 years. It's her fourth film, I think, in the film festival. Um, we also have the film Truman and Capote, which is a documentary also, um, which is also done by a, a local female. Um, and Michael Dweck is the co-director on the film, The Truffle Hunters, also a documentary, who was here two years ago, I think, uh, with, the, with the film called The Last Race. He and is, you, could, you know, the famous photographer who lives in Montauk. That's great. And also you have the Harry Chapin documentary that sounded interesting to me. Yes, thank you. See, we've got so much. It's hard to get through everyone. Yes, the amazing Harry Chapin, who wrote, Cats in the Cradle and really gave his life towards feeding the hungry and uh, his whole story. Um, he died on the LIE tragically at a young age, but his legacy lives on and on and his whole family will yeah. be coming. Well, it sounds like a great, great program of films. We're excited about it. How, and Alec, Alec Baldwin is still one of the co-chairs, right? I, I, what's he doing? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, I don't know how many people remember, but for many years, we did these great trailers where Alec Baldwin and Bob Balaban are sitting in a movie theater talking right. about things that happen in Dens as our pre-trailer. Yeah. They just recorded four more. Oh, that's so great. they're absolutely hysterical. That's so great. excited. That's we like get to show the world those. That's great. Well, but you, you can show these films nationally. Yeah. Well, in a world where we're so virtual it, and, and, and obviously dependent on entertainment and moving pieces and, and this film festival couldn't come at a better time. It comes at the time it always does, but I'm glad it's continuing and it sounds great. And we wish you the best with the Hamptons International Film Festival. Tell people one more time, where can they go to, uh, to become involved and go, go get tickets? Sure. HamptonsFilmFest.org. Okay. And Hamptons. you can follow us on uh, social media at Hamptons Film. Yes. Okay. We look forward to seeing everyone. Okay. Executive, well, executive director of the Hamptons <laughs> International Film <laughs> Festival, and Chason. Thank you so much for joining us at Facts at Five and LTV. We'll see you at the movies. <laughs> sort of. Thank you so much, Angela. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Okay. okay.